having issues with your Google Wi-Fi blinking, right? Well, I'll be detailing what that means and how you can fix this issue in this video. Welcome to Blink Blink. Let's get started. Google uses a red light for the Wi-Fi routers and Wi-Fi points to usually state that there is some sort of failure in the device operations. This is a direct contradiction to our red subscribe button besides the like icon of this video which makes sure that you catch up on our daily smart home content. The Google Nest Wi-Fi, the Nest Wi-Fi Pro and the Nest Point have all configured to show a solid red light when it detects a critical failure. Although this is a very serious issue, you can get over this by following the steps that I'll be talking about in this video. The first step that Google recommends you take when your Google Wi-Fi router or point shows a solid red light is to perform a factory reset. This will ensure that your devices get completely wiped and reset to its factory defaults, hopefully kicking your devices back in action. Just be sure to keep your phone handy as you will need the Google Home app on your phone to set up your Google Wi-Fi devices from scratch. To perform a factory reset on your Google Wi-Fi devices, press and hold the round reset button located at the base of the device for about 10 seconds till the lights flash to indicate that the reset process has been initiated. Power cycling your Google Wi-Fi devices can help in ensuring that the charges from within the system is reset, including any misbehaving and uneven charges causing it to show a solid red light. To power cycle your Google Wi-Fi router and your Wi-Fi point, unplug the devices from power and plug it back in after a good minute. Perform power cycles multiple times on your Google Wi-Fi devices in order to get the best results. If the steps that I've mentioned so far didn't work for you, then it might be a bit too late and you will have to contact Google and get a certified technician to take a look at your Google device. The technician can definitely help you with the issue and you can even try asking Google for a replacement unit so that you don't face this issue ever again in the future. I hope that this video has helped you in fixing your issues with your Google Wi-Fi. You can also check out our in-depth article from our website blingbling.com for a comprehensive read. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.